and we're back to Divinity Original Sin 2, John here. Last time, we found some very valuable loot, and we're keeping our sights in this ornate chest. Because I think that's going to be very valuable for us. We're also going to shamelessly steal this painting. The Hello. creature stands completely still, fingernails pressed hard into its palms. You notice dried blood streaking its knuckles. Man, it's kind of fucked up. Oh, what do we have here? Niles the Flanzer. So Niles... Niles was the guy that was up to no good with with these silent monks, wasn't it? What a lovely little trick Dallas uncovered. It makes them so compliant, yeah. So... Let's talk to him, see what he says. As the Magister turns to face you, you feel Fane stepping up behind you. Have you seen these contraptions? This must be the Magister Freak the blacksmith was referring to. He may have the very tool I need to craft my mask. Oh. Sure. Fane cheerfully explains that he needs something to rip off a person's face, even demonstrating the idea by reaching over and tugging on the Magister's cheeks. Rather than reacting with horror, the Magister seems excited, very excited. He explains that he might have just the thing. Unfortunately, the Magister does not seem willing to part with it, no matter what Fane offers. The skeleton turns and storms away. Hmm, who are you? Who are you, you pretty little salamander? He runs a finger down your neck. Aha! Easy. Ah, so supple. I do love the feel of lizard skin. So cool and pleasant upon one's own. Yeah, this guy's going down. Please, come in. Oh, do make yourself at home, won't you? Well, this is my playground. A little sanctuary away from the ugly world upstairs. And my games, well, they leave marks. You're not listening, darling. Perhaps we should start with making a little more space within those ears of yours. Come, come okay, so this is something Papa. that's happening. We have a level four. Niles the Flanzer and some meat golems. Agitated silent, silent monk. But we'll see if we can deal with these guys. So they are like way in the back. Okay, so what's Sabil looking at in terms of actions here? Thank you, go back. Do peace of mind. Start yapping away at him. It's good damage, dude. Whoa. Huge increase in damage. Okay, so those guys are probably looking to come out of their cages at some point soon. I'm guessing they're, for some reason, going to ally with this guy. Can we do like a... Oh, hold on, hold on. Take me like one AP. And actually, we could do like an encourage. Gonna do an encourage and an attack. <clears throat> okay, so what do we have with him? I think you gotta go for decaying touch. Chop away at him. Little bitch. 
Wow, that was a lot of damage. Okay, let's try to save Sabil. She's gonna take some damage from this, but my hope is that because it's magical damage, her armor is going to absorb it. So let's try it. Out. Into the dark. It didn't you. work. Okay. Well, that's a reload. We can't lose a character, so. Now we know he has uh, like the ability to just pop wherever he wants. So we need to just mind our positioning a little bit more going into the fight. I mean, it's a, it's a little troubling because I had like a formation. But they're not respecting it for some reason. Are they? Okay, so I do have to control Iphen for the formation to take effect. And in fact, I want Sibyl to stay like way in the back. And I almost want to keep our character also like in the back. And we're gonna go in with Fane here. Talk with that guy. Okay. Cool. Rather than unfortunate, mm. he reaches out and gently touches. You. Aha! My. So we've you already talked plead. to him. Tut, tut. I won't hear anything to the contrary. You're not. Li come, come. We know what's Time going on. To die for Papa. He's actually too far. Okay. Now I have to spend one AP moving. Yeah, we're gonna go for the clear mine here. Get wrecked. I mean, he can just one-shot Sabiel? Oh, okay, okay. Okay. I mean, you, you're gonna... You're gonna hate me for this, but you, you gotta reload there. So just keep Sabiel out of the fight until we're able to cripple that guy with Iphen. We can't cripple him straight away because he's got magic armor or physical armor. But yeah, you're gonna do like Sabil stay like at home, basically. Our what happened there? I wish I could get rid of this. Okay, doesn't let me get rid of it. Okay, a bit annoying. Okay. Stay like that. I'm gonna give this another shot. Okay, I mean he's level 4 but he can one shot our characters even through armor and everything It's just a little bit silly if you ask me Okay, that's good. He used the backslash, uh, sorry, the backstab on iPhone. It's so much damage, man. Holy crap. Well, you gotta hit him. That's what you gotta do. And then, what I don't get, though, is... When does iPhone get a turn? Sorry, not iPhone, Fane. Fane doesn't have a turn, this turn. Oh, he already used it? Yeah, yeah sorry. My bad, my bad. Alright, we miss our attack somehow. Good job there. What do we want to do with him? We don't want to accidentally burn Ife. We do want to do things to this man. I think you gotta like, hold on, 
First you burn him. Is he burning? He is not burning. Okay. <laughs> well, at least they can attack us from range, which is good. But at some point they're gonna become a problem. And well that is a problem too. We could do this to remove silence. But to be honest, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I think you gotta take a risk here, go a little bit forwards, so we can attack. Okay, so the good thing with this, if we do get a turn with Iphen, if he doesn't die, we can cripple this guy and then he can't backstab people anymore. Which would be incredible. That's great damage. But we need to get a turn with Fane right now. Do a restoration move on Iphen. And probably just pop this guy. It's not much damage at all, but... What was that? Keto Swarm. Uh, could be worse. Okay, we gotta cripple this guy. So he can't move. Okay. Now you just go to town on him. I could have also knocked him down. But I really think that... If he's... Just checking Sabil, she's fine. I, I really think that if he can't move, then he is just like a sitting duck for us. Which is great. Where did that other guy go? Hold on. Sorry. Okay, we got an agitated monk here. So we could do something like teleport this agitated monk down there just to buy our guys some time here and then you just do like an attack still gotta burn through his magic armor ice shard he's chilled Restoration, that's dirty, man. A restoration is pretty dirty. But Sabil can whack at this guy. It's good damage, man. Damn, it's good. Nice. I think we might be able to finish him this turn. Oh, sorry. Where are you? We can't decay yet. So I think you gotta go for just the hits. It's not a lot of damage at all, but it's something. Nice crit. He's regenerating from that. Okay. He should be a goner right now. He should be, we should be able to, not battle stomp, battering ram. Sorry, this is the charge ability. We want to probably... Battle stomp him. It's a good crit. And now, whack at him. Good shit. 
So we got the Red Prince's turn. There's a chance he can get through his HP. He's done it. Okay. So he's dead. He's gonna die for sure because he's burning now. Now we just gotta try to deal with the other guy there in the back. So we're gonna slow him down. There you go. He slowed. I'm a little worried when the when the things break out of their cages. By the way, sick effect on the on the blood rain. Really cool. Iphan is a little low on HP. To be honest. Okay, okay, okay. I almost wanna just heal. Oh, the range is really bad. Okay, what what kind of attacks do we have? That guy's gonna die. Guaranteed. This guy has no physical armor. He's a gun. Oh, miss. <coughs> okay, so. <clears throat> Two turns until restoration. It's not the greatest. Yeah, I think we just gotta keep going onto her. And then you shield up. Glory is mine. Okay, Ifen is not doing the greatest here. Surely that guy is gonna die, isn't he? How do you, um, examine? 67, five, okay, we, we gotta finish this guy. And I think actually what I wanna do is like a battering ram to here. Hear me out. So we execute that guy, we get two extra AP. Which, uh, to be honest, we're gonna have to save for now. Because I want to heal with Sabil. Is the play I want to make. Not much we can do with the Red Prince. He's silenced for how, how long? Doesn't say. Hopefully it's not, it's not like forever. We're actually doing good damage with a 1. Pretty good damage. Okay, we're silenced. Luckily, they don't have very high damage spells, which I'm grateful for. Okay, they're doing some damage to Fane there. So the play is you heal Iphen. And then can you take a oh too far for a ricochet? So this increases strength, finesse, blah blah blah, which is good. We want that. And I almost I'm almost willing to do a flash sacrifice here. So that I have two shots and a little bit extra damage. Okay. Luckily those things are not not yet oper operational. I think we're going to down this poison vial here. And then could go for for this play. I don't think it's too bad. How, how much does it take us to... Okay, so we heal a little bit out of that. It's pretty good. We go for the decay play on the monk. It's okay. Ooh! 
the golem is out. Okay, okay. So we've got to get to these guys. So my thinking is, okay, we do want to finish this. <laughs> we missed our shot. I mean, come on, dude. Could go for a crippling, bo uh, crippling blow, which is 17 damage guaranteed. But I think you just go for the regular attack. If she tries to move, she'll get attack of opportunity. Okay. We now want to address the monks here. She's gone. Two extra AP as well. Okay, we gotta be careful with Fane. He's taking a lot of damage. I'm banking on the fact that he's gonna heal from the poison a little bit. And also, he can shield himself. But we shouldn't be too careless. Agitated Monk. I think you go for this. It's good damage. And then you go... Okay, great damage. Alright, two golems out. He still cannot shield. I can't see if he's in attack of opportunity range or not. But either way, you gotta move back. He's pretty low HP here. I almost want him to move all the way to to this blood puddle here. What? He got knocked down. Okay, so we're dealing with this thing now. I think the best play is you cripple. And then you just do two attacks. Not a lot of damage. It looks like they have quite a bit of physical armor. And they're gonna start ganking... Ganking him a little bit. But we got a teleportation. So that could actually be... Good here. We could just send him back. For the time being. And I think we'll do that. And then, what are we dealing with here? This guy should be a goner. I think we gotta finish him though. Absolutely don't allow him another turn. Okay. Luckily she moved into my attack range. So that's two shots. Okay, well, I'm going to call bullshit on him being able to move all that distance and still attack. But it is what it is. Could battle stomp, but I think it's a little bit of a waste. So instead, we're going to encourage. We're going to finish her. Hopefully that gives you 2 AP. Oh, we didn't get the kill. Very unfortunate. He's dealing less damage, isn't he? Because he's deceased. Yes. Okay, okay. So... Not much we can do aside from just attacking... And then you gotta move away. I guess like, towards this direction. Don't wanna get attacked by him. Fane. Like Fane is in a little bit of a spot there. I 
think we gotta continue attacking this guy. I mean, we're full HP with Sabeel, so maybe we can risk another attack. Could have been a mistake. Okay, you got a shield up. And finally we have heal incoming. I think you gotta heal Ifen here. Excuse me. There you go. And you probably bank your action. That guy is now coming too. Okay. So a battle stomp would get both here. Didn't get the other guy. But that's fine. Because we can actually make our way to here. I think it's a good play. Okay, great. That guy is gone. That's good stuff. Remember, we can't heal Fane with this. So I think attacks are still our best shot. We could just also just heal Hyphen. Hopefully that... Does that remove Deceased? Oh yeah, great play. I should have thought of that. That removes Deceased, so it's... Definitely the plate. He's slowed. Which is great. We're gonna peace of mind Iphone here. I just really hope that Fane gets to walk away here. He's in attack of opportunity range. I would almost like to just do this, okay, and then can you try to play dead? Wait, how much AP does that take? It takes no AP. Try a blood sucker. I don't know if there's enough blood around you. To... Okay, I'm gonna try. I don't know if we want to try playing that, honestly. Or if we just try to run away. We're gonna get hit. Nah, you play that. There's nothing else you can do anyways. Okay, good. They're going for Ifen, who's very tanky. Battering Ram could be a good option. But I don't have a, like a great way of getting both of them. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. And reposition and then try to battering ram and knock both of them down. Okay, I think it was a good play. Not much AP left and we're burning as well. So you definitely want to move out of the burning, or the fire, rather. Um, oh, that guy is dead, actually. Isn't he? It's actually hard to see. There he is. Okay, I'm gonna start, see if I can kill that guy in the back. He's burning so we could go for this. It's good damage. He's burning. He should die this turn. 
So we want to cripple the golem. Okay, damage. That golem is dead. It's good stuff. Sabil is... Like, really close to the action here, but I think it's fine. Take your shots. And Fane, you can probably... Take a couple hits. Almost finished him. We've done it. Great fight. Great job, everybody. Rest up. Okay. I thought that might get a little tricky there for a second, but we got through it. Let's see if there is any loot to be had. Got some gold. Have a dismembered torso here for Fane. Ah, this is... Whoa! Candyland! Candyland Town. Procure a ripped off face that can be used for shapeshifting. Exquisite! The there perfect tool to rip a face from a corpse. Meet Golem Cage Key. I Chastity. I shall call it the... Face Ripper. Now to harvest a few samples. Gather some sorcerers. Another orbs, dagger. And craft a new mask. Resurrection scroll. We're in business. Man. Great stuff. Okay. Quick save time. Um, I don't know if we can use the daggers because they usually require finesse. That requires 11 finesse. What is the other dagger? Yeah, it requires 11 finesse. I don't know if Fane has 10 finesse. He would have to actually get one finesse. Or we can just sell them. It's also good money. And then just buy him something different, which is fine. I think it's fine. Great. We have an eye, some sinew. Fantastic. Probably want to give Fane the face ripper. Blows up your target. Jesus. So, dude, we got some good stuff to sell, which I'm excited about. This is great. We should be around probably like 1,000 gold selling those those things, assuming that price is accurate, which is pretty exciting. Bloodied leg. All right, let's grab Fane. This is your business here. Rose. Sure. Pipe to the swamp. Well, we want to examine everything here, make sure we got all we can get. So, nothing there. Gonna check out this side. Chunk of flesh. And an empty cup. Not the greatest. This is some kind of torture device. I'm gonna go ahead and not jump onto that. Okay, so we're done here. We got like a kind of story critical item there with the face ripper. Definitely needed that.
kind of wondering what what do we do now to be honest several options let's try going up this way this time Ought to keep well out of sight of the magisters right this is nothing to do with the paladins go and tell your grandmaster that what it's is this? everything to do with the paladins you sully the divine name with this place violent sure but we can do it want the world free of void wilkin Sorcerers are like the Divine's children. If you're harming them in here, we'll... You'll do what? You're weak. Only we have the will to do what's necessary. Goodbye. I demand entry! You can't hide what you're doing forever! This is nothing to do with the Paladins. Go and tell your Grandmaster that. It's everything to do with the Paladins. You sully the Divine's name with this place. The Divine would want the world free of Void Wilkin. Sorcerers are like the Divine's children. If you're harming them in here, we'll... You'll do what? You're weak. I almost want to just, like, try to help him out. Target is too heavy. Damn, we can't steal the painting. Is there anything going on here? Nope. Everything to do with the paladins. Sully the divine's name with this place. Dude, let's try. The divine would want the world free of Void Wilkin. Yes. Let's try focusing this guy down. It's probably like a terrible idea, but we're gonna try it anyways. So you're gonna go encourage. We're gonna move all the way up to him. Subdue them. Leave. Got a ranger, swordsman. Move up to here. For now, you bank your actions. I almost want to go like up the stairs because remember if we if we lob fire at this our guy is gonna burn as well so that's not good okay, let's take a position here it might be might be a mistake to approach them from this from this spot. Whoa! Yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. Oh, that's a good move. Fine with me if he's spending his his kills on Fane. is just tanking all the shots all day long but now we're actually in a pretty good spot from up here can do like slow that guy down slow your roll he's burning as well isn't he he's not but we're gonna fix that okay now he's burning and now also We've generated a path where they have to cross fire. I mean, 
I'd like to get a turn with Fane sometime today. Fane has not had had a turn, which is pretty aggravating. All right, well, it's reload. So we didn't get a turn with Fane, which is again pretty aggravating. I don't understand why he wasn't knocked down or anything, or was he? I think he may have been knocked down. But regardless, doesn't seem like a smart choice to approach them from there. Right. Just making sure that the reload was correct. Yes. Yeah, we got all the stuff. So let's check out what what other approaches we can do I think if we go like here or to keep well out of sight yes so we could go up the stairs remember those guys are there so we could like go this way We'll give it a shot, see if it works. You want to go for the archer here, for sure. Violent, sure, but we can deal with them. Okay, there you go. We can. Pretty soon we'll lick them, same as we did the Black Ring. You can't close the gap. Quite yet. Okay, we can do a uh, 1 AP move on. here. That will allow us to do it. Let's do an encourage first. Go for a battering ram. It won't stun. But it's gonna get us get us in range, so if she tries to walk away. Corner. Gets hit, okay, nice. Subdue them and make sure Cork doesn't leave. <clears throat> Whoa, no attack of opportunity? Excuse me. Not sure I understand. Move out of the thing. Could get some physical shield here. Could also just bank your moves okay he's going for that ranger see somehow they can move without getting attack of opportunity proc I don't know if that's a perk or if it's just bullshit we'll find out I mean the thing is here Okay, you know you gotta move out of the oil. That's the first thing. So you're gonna go like here. Gotta use two AP because we're slowed. Damn, dude. It's a lot of AP just to move a little bit. I mean, that's not even out of range from... Okay, I'm gonna move back then if that's the only option. Out of sight. Okay, banker points.
Okay, are we still slowed? We are not. So how about if we move to here? Do we have a shot? Oh, just barely. Okay, target too far. Gotta move. Oh, go for the zero move. Yeah. Good damage. Oh, I forgot about the, the ranger that there at the top. Good damage. The deeps are real. With Sabia. I didn't intend, to, I'm sorry about that, Ryan. Crippled, that's fine. So you could go for like a battle stomp. But honestly, what's it gonna do? You gotta go for the swordsman, I think. We're gonna do like one AP here. Crippling is not gonna work, so you just try to do as much damage as you can. It's okay, damage. So. Actually, nobody needs healing yet which is great so you're gonna go for like a DK play we are crippled cannot move okay well we're gonna shield up whatever happens at the very least you're gonna be shielded up you can't move you can't attack either could heal, but that's not useful, so I guess we just pass our turn. Some damage on the Red Prince. Should be fine. I think uh, we want to do like a little fire play here. We can't do that because we're gonna burn let's try just a normal attack sets him to burn him. so the good thing about this is that paladin cock is or i said paladin cock didn't i <laughs> all right well paladin cork shouldn't be in too much danger of dying there okay that's a bad knockdown that's a bad knockdown Taking some damage. Not too bad. Uh, this guy is pretty annoying because he's just healing up his shield. But I'll tell you what, we can do like a battle stomp. You get the archer too. Then you just deal some damage. nothing to, sn to worry about I mean tell me that paladin cork can handle two lone rangers not much of a paladin if he can't so he's getting kited though pretty badly so we are getting attacked it's bad oh that's really bad we're gonna have a turn with Fane, but he is... Okay, that's fine. We gotta heal our buddy here. So that removes Crippled, which is great. Um, Could go for that. Could also go for Peace of Mind on Iphen. 
There you go. You go for a shot on this dude. options are we looking at? Uh, hurts, doesn't it? Gotta go for this and then crippling. Crippling blow. Good. So he can't move. Now who needs healing? Probably the Red Prince. 49 HP. Pretty low. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Go for the heal on the Red Prince. We're taking some damage ourselves here on Fame. I almost want to do like decaying touch into play dead. Not worried at all about that little damage there. It's fine. So we gotta handle this guy. And the good thing is, any damage we deal is gonna be what happened there. Oh, the thing is blocking our way. It's not gonna work too, huh? Okay. Well, you gotta move back. Or, you could do like... Teleportation play. Placing like, right next to Icon there. I really like the teleportation ability. Allows you to play with people's positioning. Dude, he's in trouble. He's getting wrecked by these rangers. Yeah, I don't think we can save him at this point, to be honest. So you gotta go to town on, on these dudes. Whoa! He's a goner. All right, Sabil. Your only job is to finish this ranger. Don't miss. She's done. Great shit. Dude, this damage is nothing to Iphon. He's like not even phased by this. Um what are we looking at with Fane here? Can't do much. Ooh. Gotta take care of this Magister here. It's a problem. Okay. So... We are full HP with the Prince. But we cannot move away because we're gonna get hit. How much HP do we have? We can tank quite a bit. We're gonna go for the attack. We're doing a lot of damage actually. We lost Paladin Cock. No. Right, Iphon, what plays do you have? Dude, this guy is constantly shielding up. It's so aggravating. I mean, what's the cooldown on that bullshit? Okay, so you gotta go for like one. And then 
where hold on where's the magister he's out of sight okay not gonna work although we could just move towards this position to help out our friends I think we'll do that knockdown resisted Whirlwind is pretty bad. Sabeel is... Is she going to die? The healing is on cooldown. Okay. She's in attack of opportunity range. Fuck. This is so bad. Oh, man. Does she have access to anything hold on can we do elemental <laughs> elemental fire heads go for the attack the hope is that we kill this guy he doesn't get a turn we've done it we've done it okay 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 move the fuck back with Sabeel like all the way back don't step into the fire He crippled two people? Excuse me, sir. Thing is, we can't do anything with Fane here. Okay, so we're gonna get up with Fane. We got a lot of food we can eat, so let's eat like... A leg. Um. Chunk of flesh. What else we got? Bloodied leg. Yummy. I don't know if I don't know if it was a good decision to wake up with him because it just takes so much damage, so much damage. Uh, okay, he's dead, right? That's so. What is our situation? I think with him, just try to go onto this guy. His magic armor is down that's great damage I mean this is I'd like to have a ricochet shot We still have fire ar arrowheads. Probably want to ricochet. Here. Oh, he's gone. We got him. Nice. So now the question is oh, this guy is a goner too. We cannot move though. Got a battle stomp. Question is, do we knock down Fane with this? I think we still gotta do it though. Okay, good to good to know it doesn't affect allies. Wanna encourage everybody? A little extra HP. Pass your turn. Fane, gonna finish him off. Great stuff. Shield up. What's their health situation? Okay, so I think we can do the whole 
rock fire combo here. The fire arrows are gonna get blocked. Can we do just a normal attack? Pass is interrupted, okay. Could go for a lateral move there. Ignition. Let's try for an ignition here. So, Sibyl could be dead here. She's gotta heal up. That is a good heal. Target is too far. Target is too far. Um. I mean, honestly, with Sibyl, I want to play it safe. I'm gonna go as far as 2 AP takes me, or like around here. We're gonna do a clear mind. Who needs a clear mind? I think Iphen. No problem so far. What is the play here? I don't want to burn with him. I think you gotta go here, go for a cri crippling blow. So now the bitch can't move. burning too. Okay. Well, Fane doesn't have much of a play here. He's got a heal. His 72 HP should be enough to tank like one attack. So that ranger is gone. Let's focus down this bitch. Great damage. We're doing great damage with our wand, man. Good shit. And I can go to town on the bitch. damage being taken that's fine too far for an attack but we can do like a flash sacrifice gain one extra move like here and we can get a shot at her great damage she could die from the fire as well does good shit there's now only one bitch left and you gotta go for the decay play here target is too far huh You're gonna make me walk into the fire Okay, I'm gonna walk into the fire to do this. Cannot attack out of turns. She's gone. Wait, we can't target her. We go like here. Still cannot. What's going on? 
Why is it... Why is she out of sight? I mean, can you explain to me what's happening here? Okay, let's try this. Since we don't seem to be able to target her. Let's do like a fire blaze. We got her. She's gone. Rest up. Great job today, guys. Two easy battles. And by easy, I mean we barely made it. Grab the pitchfork. I'm gonna grab the bread. Minor healing potion. We're gonna loot this entire place. So you get the lemon. Ooh, so much shit. What's in the chest? Yeah, ribbon. Nice amount of gold. Grapes, pears, apples. Bread. Yeah, just take the knife. Maybe we can sell it. We we'll get the books too. Uh, I mean, the pitchfork is not useful. You can't sell it either. So, just loot these guys. Plate. Take it. What about you? Ooh, here is the money. Alchemist breaches, dude. Oh, nice. We have a sword. Fourteen damage plus one strength. Captain Triple's key. Take it. Haste scroll. Minor healing potion, dude. It's the jackpot right there. Great fight, great approach from the side there. Worked out. A lot of ma magisters we had to deal with. We're finally feeling a little bit stronger now, which is great. Have a carpenter's axe. Doesn't. Well, excuse me. It's not very good. But we will take it have a sweeper now we don't don't want the sweeper nails we'll take the nails we take the gold empty bottle potion there's a chest it's a minor healing potion Yes! Right, take all of this. Don't, not interested in the hammer. Okay, before we walk into like something else, let's save. Very successful sequence of events. And before we continue to loot, let's just equip our shit. We got some new gear. Let me just find my stuff here. So we want this. Right. One perseverance. I mean, we could give this to Fane, actually, because... Hear me out here. Stained pants. Because Fane has the... The thing where he's always up front. So he needs some armor. Also, one perseverance. What did that do again? Restores magic armor after you recover from... Okay, so that seems useful. What else do we have? Six physical armor. We'll give it to Fane as well. Fane needs to be able to tank a little bit more. And then, Iphen, is this better than what you have right now? It totally is. Plus one strength as well. Damn, that's good. Really good. What is that? Um, 
that little skull, 5% critical chance. Well, I guess that's all it is, the crit chance, but... And then Fane, is this better than your current axe? It's a little bit better. We'll take it. Doesn't look like we have much else. Just having a thorough look. Have stuff to sell for sure. We finally have a lot of potions. Two resurrection scrolls. Very thankful for that. Got a lot of gold, dude. We're doing great here. Very good stuff. Okay. Drop another quick save. I'm gonna cut it here for today. Two very successful combats. Finally feeling a little bit like I'm not a complete wimp in the game, which is great, great feeling. So we'll continue from here next time. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.